Bow, we back up with another one, man. I've been preached, man. Shout out to them, man. I'll be fucking with their videos and shit, but let's see what the fuck is going on. Her boyfriend like IG models pictures show she got surgery to look just like her. Um, mental illness. This is if your boyfriend some likes shit, photos but, and videos yeah. of girls with huge butts on the internet, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Michaela. I have a fat butt, and I will happily block your boyfriend if you ask me. But that's not why I'm here. Why I'm here is to tell you the story of how I got like this. Because I'm just like you. By the way, I have clay all over me. But my ex-boyfriend would like photos of Jeanette Guzman, the Instagram model. I think he actually only liked like five photos total. But when I discovered this, and we had just started dating, when I discovered this, I would cry every night. I would devalue myself. I have BPD, by the way. I would devalue myself. I am not good enough. I am not a good enough person because I don't have a fat butt. And I don't have every single surgery that Jeanette Guzman has, so I'm not good enough. And this went on for a long time. I was very insecure and I became very, very sad and I just hated who I was. I hated myself. So what did I do? I tried everything in the books. I tried everything I possibly could do to look like Jeanette Guzman. And I think it's done. First of all, can you stop right there? That's fucking weird. That's weird. Like, in in. <laughs> This is this is when I start asking shit like, this is when I start asking questions like, who? Wait, now that that that's not what y'all think. Let me put this back up. That's when I start asking questions like, who are y'all parents? Who raised y'all? And why do y'all feel or think like this, bro? Like you know what I'm saying? Like, this is some shit that's supposed to be taught to you as a kid, like to love yourself and to cherish the the. Yeah, not only your physical, but your your personality, the the things that people don't see about you, you're supposed to cherish. Because this is weird. Your boyfriend made you feel a way about something by, and probably not even intentional, right? Maybe not even intentional. And you go and, you know what I'm saying? I blame the parents. I blame the parents. Because she should have grew up where she loved herself no matter what. If she, if she was constructive criticism that needed to be held, like, okay, you're not doing enough of this. Uh, I would like you to do this. And she couldn't take that, then that would be a conversation. But for you, for him to like a picture, and then you go and want to look like a whole nother person is crazy. It's fucking crazy. I digress. Good job. I think I did a decent job. But now? He's now, your ex now. This dude is gone. And what apparently the fuck? his type is completely freaking different to anything I am. So I did all this for nothing. You're telling me I got surgery that I can't reverse. Just for you me to go but... have a different type. No, that's on you. That's, thank you. That's on you. That's some mental shit, bro. Let me tell you a little something. Yo, wait. Be before, before, before pre start speaking, I actually got a, a, a little story time real quick. I had a girl who we were like, I could say we were kind of dating or whatever, right? And you used to be upset when I used to post, like, certain models or certain, like, you know, like, not those fan pages, but, like, I follow, like, a lot of, like, fashion pages where they kind of, like, it may be, like, a girl, like, a girl dressed up, like, real nice. Like, I like, let me see, I like, I like, a, uh, I like shorties to dress not a certain way, but, like, they be having, like, a certain cozy look, like, a nice little vibe to them, you know what I'm saying? And she used to feel some way about it. And I used to try to explain to her, like, yo, listen. Like, I like the fits. Like, yeah, the girl is pretty, right? But, like, I, I, I like the style. She, You know what I'm saying? She going with type shit. And the shorty would just be like, no. Like, I don't like that. And I used to understand it. Like, you feel me? You don't want me posting. But, like, if, if I was posting half-naked models and shit like that, understandable. If I'm posting a, a woman who I like her outfit... Or like she's with a dude also in the in the picture or some shit like that. And I like this just just to give you an example. Now I don't necessarily I don't necessarily like this fit. But yeah, let's just say some shit like that, right? And I'll post it like yo, and, and I wouldn't put hard eyes in it. I just repost the picture. It used to go it used to be an argument every time. I'm just like what insecurity am I triggering to where I just like the girl's outfit? Like, yeah, okay, she's attractive. And I never, and I always, like, we never used to have a problem with letting people know, like, okay, outside of our relationship. Because realistically, when you're in a relationship, bro, there's going to be people outside of your relationship that's attractive still. You're fucking human beings. Now, are you going to go 
damn, she look good as hell. Like, I really want, you know what I'm saying? No, you're not going to talk like you. Like, yo, okay, she's really pretty. Like, okay, she's she's kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a way to say it with being respectful. Am I going to do that for every single girl I see? No. Shorty was was kind of uh, a part of the LGBT community too. So she like, girl, so we we would like ponder on joints ass. She'd point me, like, tap me, hey, hey, look at her eyes. I'd be like, oh, shit, fine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and niggas would, you know what I'm saying? Move on. It wouldn't be like a long dwelling thing while we just staring. Like it is glimpse. Uh, uh, look. Okay, cool. Look off. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Like, come on, son. So, but yeah, that used to be a thing for me because I'm like, damn, son. Yeah, either your parents or your other niggas got in your mind that much that like you can't even like you can't even. Like, I don't even know what to call that. But, yeah, somebody let me know down in the comments. But that's crazy. Your ex-boyfriend was looking at pictures and liking pictures of who with a big butt? Mm-hmm. Cool. You mm-hmm. decided to look at that. It's like if I was looking at my girl's prawn history. Okay. And she likes dude with humongous. I'm talking about. All right, you're dragging it. 12. Pause. 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have a 12, 15 inch. Nope. I don't. I absolutely don't. I'm saying for me, I don't know. And then I proceed to, I mean, that's a fantasy. Yeah. If the person's with you and he likes other things, it doesn't mean that it's exactly that. Now, if he's expressing it, again, if I, like I said, if he's expressing it to the point where it's like, like, kind of disrespectful, like, damn, this bitch, ah, oh, oh, damn, she look good. Like, now it's like, now that's disrespectful. Now I can see why you could be like, I kind of feel a way about it. But you don't then turn around and go get the surgery about the bitch that you talking about. Bro, come on. We don't do that. That's not it. You, you let him know how you feel. If you don't respect that, then you leave. Or you separate yourself. Or you, you, you make it abundantly clear that if this continues, I'm not going to be happy and I'm going to be forced to do something else. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, son. That's her. That's the girl that she was looking at. Goes That's who she wants to look like. You can imagine your uh, Instagram. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's mm-hmm. just, like it's just you doing all those changes is not. It's not gonna keep you there, doing bro. all those changes to to pleasure your mm-hmm. boy. It's not on your boy. It's on you. It's it's, it's a, on it's you. It's a mental thing, bro. It's okay. Fun. Him liking those pictures while he's going out with you. Oh, it fucks up with your self esteem and stuff like that. Yes, I can I understand can that. that. Yes, but it's. Let's just, let's just say it loud and listen to yourself when you say it. Self-esteem. It's yours. It's yours. It's your self-esteem. He can, he can add to it, that. Did you have a passion for it? Pursue it? He can add to I that. just kind of went for it and I'm here now. With over six. All right. And if he likes those pictures and that's a fetish or that's a fantasy, it mm-hmm. stays a fantasy. All right. Mm-hmm. It doesn't unless, mean that that. Again, unless he start ODing. <laughs> If you liking a couple pictures, all right. He sliding the DM. That's a different story. You know what I'm saying? Come on, like we gotta we gotta separate the two. That's what he wants or whatever. That's exactly yeah. what he craves. No, he likes the picture. Wait, wait, wait. You're saying my girl doesn't want me to become a vampire? No. All right, let's. Watch no, that's actually what I, I'm, I'm saying. Yep. So all yeah. those girls who were like getting super wet over the Vampire Diaries or somehow some way blaming him for some things. But anyway, this is. This is completely irreversible. So the more weight I gain, the fatter my butt gets, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. It is just constantly growing. And today, I was getting bubble tea. Alicia, would you want to tell them the story? I was getting bubble tea today, and some lady on drugs uh, came up to me and was like, so you like the way you look? This is why young girls blah, 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 and just gave me the fat, and I just burst into tears. I bursted into tears because I was... I was that young girl, okay, and I became this. She's very impressionable. Like and this is not I what I want to advertise is, to anyone. It's going to be so controversial, but people that do this to themselves are mentally ill. We, if we to a degree. If we say we don't, we're lying. Obviously not for everyone. But if you're, I want to say boat, mentally ill, but you know men- what boat I'm talking like, about. Mentally, I don't cancel that surgery. Because one, I'm not trying. And this is another thing, bro. I'm not trying to shame people that do it because I understand some people do it for health reasons. Some people do it because they genuinely cannot have the physique or the body that they dream of. But at the same time, this shit is very fucking dangerous, bro. Like if you're a mom, if you're a sister, like you can literally hate to use it. 
Kanye's mother, for example, she went into a surgery, bro, and she never came out, bro. And this is just one of many people, bro. That shit can happen, bro. Don't think it can't. It can. Any complication, anything can fucking arise. And just like that, you out of here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that to be like the president. I'm saying that to so people understand the severity because people get up and, and they see it being glamorized on social media and don't even realize the, 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 the like... The ratifications of the aftermath of this shit sometimes, bro. Like, for example, niggas be like, oh, yeah, I got shot. Hey, and they be talking about it. And people be thinking like, oh, yeah, this guy got shot. He's still alive. Like, it can't be that bad. And I'm realizing, bro, when it rained, this nigga aches. This nigga has a... His stomach is cut from here to up here. This nigga has a, zi a permanent zipper. Like, the nigga, the nigga can't do certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just... Like, and I think people need to really realize the other side of it, though, or the, the reality side of certain shit, bro. The shit is not always as it seems. Like, love yourself. Or, f or find a way to, in the, in the most healthiest way, man, the healthiest way possible, and build on that. It may take a long time, but build on that, bro. I'm telling you. The trend's gonna be gone in a few years. Two, it hurts. It's very painful and costs a lot of money. Facts. And three, you will regret it because that man you is may. going to be con. And then you'll be stuck with Possibly. this freaking yes. dump truck that you can't get rid of and okay, get screamed just... at on the street by old ladies on... Yeah, I don't think she's nearly blaming him nearly as much. She's as... not only blaming him. Yeah, you're right. No, uh, it didn't sound like she's... My she, bad. She's being like... I think what she's venting is like... I did this for somebody, and then mm -hmm. he went off and yeah, changed she sees the... Like, what was the point of everything I did? Yep. Maybe he didn't She sees, time. but unfortunately, she's seen it afterwards, which is, I mean, it happens sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's humans. That shit happens. Sometimes you don't see the shit in the hindsight until afterwards, and you're like, oh, damn. That, oh, my fucking head. But I, I, I respect the, the position she's taking or the perspective she has on the situation because she's identifying that, hey, what I did was probably psychotic, or probably I was probably mentally unstable and I made a rational decision and now I have to live with that shit possibly for the rest of my life. And she's also not really promoting the shit as much as I, I expect I thought she was, which is good. So, I mean, shout out to her. Uh for anybody out there that's getting surgery, listen, I understand. I well I don't understand because I'm not gonna I'm a male. I don't I won't get surgery unless it's like mandatory for like my health or some shit like that. For the young ladies out there, man, or for the, the, the parents of the young ladies, man, please, man, let these let these women know that they are loved, how they are, and, like, they don't need some of this stuff. Because just by doing that may save somebody. I understand people are still going to do what they want to do. There's going to be some people that want to get this shit done, which is fine. But at the same time, let's, let's, let's figure out what is it that's motivating them to do this. And let's make sure that it's for the right reasons. Or, or make sure they f they understand fully what they're getting themselves into. Just get them love, man. I think that's what just a lot of it stems from. So, give the young ladies the love that they need so that when they grow up, they have self-love and understand and recognize what they need and what they don't need. What she needed was not to go with her intrusive thought, which is to go get her body done because of some fucking man that was liking pictures on, on Instagram. That's not what that's that's not what she which she was going for. So, but yeah, uh, man, like, comment, subscribe, man. Shout out to the ladies, man. We love y'all. Man, take take care, man. Hit the gym. We here for y'all. Mad love from the black community. Word. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, man. Share this video with somebody you love. And uh, spread awareness. Bow. We out of here.